what I've been through with this man, is he worth it anymore? I'm tired of being strong. I'm tired of being like, I gotta not show my emotions. Angela's always been a bit of a wild card, but her latest move is next level. Crazy word on the street is she made a dramatic getaway from her place when the cops showed up to arrest her on some serious charges. There's footage of her running from the police, and it's just the latest chapter in her crazy legal drama, which now includes accusations of abuse against Michael and some substance issues. Honestly, things just keep getting messier for her, and her unpredictable behavior is making everyone wonder what's really going on with her. Well, stick around as we break down all the shocking details of Angela's dramatic run from the police and the legal storm brewing around her. Angela is in hot water right now, and it's hard to look away. Her ex, Michael, has come forward with some pretty serious abusive statements, taking their already rocky relationship to a whole new level. Fans of 90 Day Fiancé have seen their ups and downs on screen, but Michael's recent accusations reveal that things were quite worse behind closed doors. He's accusing Angela of both physical and emotional abuse, which has shocked a lot of her fans. Michael's story is pretty heartbreaking. He says Angela would often blow up in anger and things sometimes got violent. He mentions that she would verbally lash out, especially when she was drinking or using other substances, which made her mood swings even crazier. He shared some really disturbing moments, like one time when Angela allegedly threatened him with a knife during a fight that's just terrifying, and he felt unsafe in their own home. One of Angela's rants even included this statement. You wasted seven years and you're 35 and I'm 58. That really shows how strained things had gotten between them, but it sounds like their marriage was more than just rocky. It was abusive and dangerous. You know you treated me like shit. You better own it. I fed you, baby. I fed you. You don't give a So Angela? Struggles with substance use aren't helping her case either. Friends and neighbors have talked about her acting erratically, often seeming under the influence with Michael's abuse claims. On top of that, it has led a lot of people to think her behavior was really spiraling out of control. And now with her legal issues piling up, her substance-related problems are just making things worse. Things took a wild turn when the cops showed up at Angela's place to arrest. Her witnesses say she totally freaked out. The moment she saw the officers, she took off running through the backyard, darting across her neighbor's yards like she was in a movie chase. People who saw it said she looked frantic and had no plan. She just wanted to escape. Neighbors couldn't believe what they were seeing. One minute it was all quiet, and the next Angela was sprinting through yards. Her messy appearance and panic made it clear this was no ordinary day. And to top it off, it was all caught on surveillance cameras. The footage shows Angela desperately trying to evade the police, which has only made things worse for her. Now that the video is kept private by law enforcement officers, people are questioning why she ran if she had nothing to hide, raising even more concerns about her mental state. As more details come out, Angela's situation looks pretty bleak. Michael's testimony about the abuse is pretty damning. He has shared multiple examples of her violent behavior, including one scary night when she waved a knife at him while threatening to stab him. He says that incident left him scared as he believed she might actually do it. And this wasn't just a one-time thing. Michael claims Angela's violent outbursts happened often, especially when she was drinking. On top of Michael's testimony, there are medical records and witness statements that back him up. These documents show the physical injuries he suffered during their time together, giving more weight to his story. Friends of the couple have also spoken out, saying Michael lived in constant fear, trying to avoid triggering Angela's temper. Oh, I Did you no tell my daughters? All women are stupid. So what do you expect me to do? So what is it? Let me tell you something. You better get your ass and get your. You want to get the duck up. The emotional toll on Michael has been just as rough. He has talked about dealing with panic attacks and anxiety throughout their marriage. Living in fear of Angela's next outbursts really took a toll on him. Even now, after their split, he's still grappling with the mental scars from those years of abuse. He has opened up about the constant fear he felt never knowing when Angela might snap. As the case moves forward, the evidence against Angela is piling up Michael's testimony, witness reports, and medical records all point to a clear pattern of abuse. 
Angela's recent attempt to run from the police has only added to the drama, making her look even guiltier to the people. With so much evidence against her, it seems like she's going to face the consequences for her actions very soon. Fans have also changed their tune about Angela Dye and her legal issues, especially those who watch 90 Day Fiancé. What used to be seen as entertaining drama is now making fans rally behind Michael Isla. Sammy demanding justice for him? Social media is buzzing with outrage and people can't believe Angela's behavior went unchecked for so long. A person commented saying, I'm glad she's put into an uncomfortable position. Now she can see a tiny bit of how it feels spitting in that man's face and throwing things at him, snatching from him, talking down at him horrible. Another one wrote, I'm glad she's going to get arrested. She just thinks she can do whatever she wants by hurting him and yelling at him. She needs to go to jail. Now, it's not just fans who are speaking out, former friends, neighbors, and even other reality stars are sharing their discomfort with Angela's actions. Those who knew her off-screen have said her aggressive behavior was no secret. One neighbor who wanted to stay anonymous said, Angela's always treated this man like trash. She's out of control. Similarly, other people are saying it was only a matter of time before something serious happened. Former friends who witnessed her antics are now wishing they had spoken up sooner. Realizing her behavior has escalated over the years' years, their reaction has painted Angela in a pretty negative light. Meanwhile, fans are also calling out the show's producers for continuing to feature her despite the obvious red flags. Now, this isn't just about entertainment anymore, it's about addressing a serious issue of domestic abuse that they feel has been ignored for too long. One big factor in Angela's downward spiral has been her substance abuse. While her explosive personality was often on display, it wasn't always clear how much her drinking fueled those outbursts. Angela has a long history with alcohol, and as her relationship with Michael started to fall apart, her drinking got worse. Friends have noticed a pattern whenever things get rocky between her and Michael. Her drinking would escalate too. Alcohol seemed to amplify Angela's aggressive side, making her more unpredictable. What looked like dramatic moments on screen were just the tip of the iceberg. In real life, her substance abuse led to even more extreme behavior. With violent outbursts becoming more common, her dependency on alcohol also made her paranoid, causing her to lash out at people around her, including his husband. As things got worse, Michael made the tough choice to press charges marking a major turning point in his life. After years of dealing with emotional and physical abuse, he finally found the courage to stand up for himself. Michael's friends say he's been more confident and at peace since he started taking legal action. They believe that speaking out has helped him regain control over his life. After feeling powerless for so long as part of his healing, Michael has also been going to therapy, which has helped him deal with the emotional scars from years of abuse. With the support of his loved ones, he's slowly rebuilding his life, reconnecting with family and friends, and strengthening those bonds that were strained during his toxic relationship with Angela. Those close to him say he's finally starting to feel like himself again, free from the fear and anxiety that once consumed him. While the legal battle with Angela is still ongoing, his decision to press charges has empowered him in a way that nothing else could. His courage shows that even in the darkest times, it's possible to seek justice and reclaim your life. Now, we want to hear from you guys. What do you think will happen next? Do you believe Angela will face justice for her actions or do you think she will find a way to escape the consequences? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video and want more updates on the latest celebrity drama, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and we will catch you in the next one. Celebrity Insider News.